Hey, do you want to be absolutely devastated, crying until you run out of tears, leaving you staring at the ceiling questioning your very existence? Well, I have the anime for you. Your Lie in April has to be one of the best animes I've ever seen. It's easily in my top 5 best animes of all time. When I finished this anime, it made me wish I had the ability of Zoro to delete memories from my mind and watch it again. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit of a pianist myself. I don't know what you expected. Which is one reason why I enjoyed this anime. Specifically, the music that they chose was exquisite. You thought the Demon Slayer intro song was good? Nah, nah. Give me some of this. So what makes this anime so good? Well, that's the premise of this video, but it's mostly just an excuse for me to talk about my deep love for this anime. So let's get right into the meat and potatoes. Spoiler warning. And oh my god, this whole anime is EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! This is the story of Kosei Arima, a prestigious pianist who gave up the piano shortly after his mother's death, due to him being unable to hear the piano when he plays. So by some chance meeting, he runs into Kaiori, a violinist. And you think Eren or Lelouch are master planners? No. This woman sits above all of them. She's a violinist who doesn't follow the traditional way of playing. She also appears to be in the talking phase throughout this anime with Kosei's best friend, Ryota. And this is Subaki. She's Kosei's best friend. Okay, that's all the refresher you get. If you haven't seen this anime, for the love of God, go watch it. Because I'm about to spoil everything. The first great thing about this anime is the characters. These characters are complex, and each has their own problems that they have to work through. One with a story of a parent who forces their expectations on their children so that they can succeed, but doing so in the most brutal way. A girl in love with her best friend, but she's always just too late. A girl who just wants to reach somebody. And a man who has too many hoes to keep track of. Very relatable. All of these characters are likable. And you understand their stories, even the side characters. Such as the guy who always comes second. I'm editing and I just want you to know that I didn't mean to put an innuendo there. Such as the guy who always comes second. Never able to be the best. And the mom who just wants what's best for her kid. Because when she's gone, who's gonna take care of him? Also, where's the dad this whole anime? I get he's gone due to work, but this man is gone gone. I don't think he's ever coming back. These characters also express the emotions, they cry, they feel pain, and the anime does such a great job at expressing that. The second great thing about this anime is the animation. The animation is breathtaking. I could look at this all day. The animation team really killed this project, and you wouldn't even be able to tell that this anime was released in 2014. This part's pretty short because I'm not really sure what else to say except, ooh, pretty cherry blossoms. The music in this anime is perfect. All the song choices that they picked were amazing. After watching this anime, I've been playing all of these songs. The choice to use Love Sorrow for the song about letting go of the mom, Chef's Kiss. And the final song, Chopin's Ballad Number 1 in G minor, is perfect. It's in three different parts. The sorrowful intro, the happy addition of the violin, and the ending of Returning to Sorrow was perfection. And don't even get me started on this banger of a song. The best part of this anime was the story. It was completely heartbreaking to watch. Specifically, Kaori's battle with Frederick's ataxia. This is a disease that appears between the ages of 10 and 15. It causes an individual to progressively lose the ability to move. Watching her beg her legs to move was heartbreaking. It got to the point that she completely gave up on being a violinist. When Kosei helped her regain the desire to perform one last time, she goes through painstaking rehabilitation and plans on going through surgery just to perform one last time. I just want to say this just in case you missed it. The final words that she says before undergoing surgery? If you didn't know, this is from Charlie Brown, the person she's been quoting this whole time throughout the anime. When I read this an hour after I finished the anime, I cried again. No matter how much she tried, she never got to do her final performance, is what I thought. Sure, I saw her perform with Kosei in that gorgeous final scene, but that was just to him. She wanted to perform for others, right? The finale was the greatest part of this whole anime. The final letter that she wrote to Kosei was perfect. It showed that she only wanted to reach him. The final performance where it was just them. That's what she wanted. That's who she wanted to reach with her music. The letter says that he was the reason she began playing the violin. Just so she could get a chance to play with him. And she was there the whole time. Then it tells the one lie she told in April. That she did everything just to get close to him. Just to reach him. She lied about being interested in his best friend just to meet him and play with him, and knew that they wouldn't end up together. She even knew that she was getting in the way of Tsubuki, and knew that they wouldn't ever end up together, but didn't mind because all she wanted to do was reach him, because she knew she was only drifting through his life and wouldn't be there forever. And at the end of the day, aren't we all just drifting through life? <laughs>
春が来る Hello, Outro Lunar here. Click here if you want to see my channel. Click over here if you want to see my most recent video. Click over here if you want to see the recommended video. Bye bye.